Brendan, you're late. <clears throat> Sorry, Coach McGurk. I, I had to stay after because I flunked a test. You look terrible. Well, I haven't been sleeping very well, and you know I got a phone call at 4 o'clock this morning because... Whoa, we... whoa, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Always late, flunking tests, tired, phone calls at 4 in the morning. Yeah. Brendan. Brendan. Yeah. Are you trading online? What? Brendan? No. Brendan, if you are... What? One in. Heard it makes a lot of money. Yeah? No, I know. You're doing drugs, right? <laughs> Are you out of your mind, Answer coach? the question, Brendan. Are you doing drugs? That's ridiculous. I, I'm not even going to justify that with an answer. Humor me. All right. A farmer and his three beautiful daughters go to the village. Uh, <laughs> heard it. Look, Brendan, I'm going to keep a close eye on you for your own good. But right now, because you were late, yeah. everyone voted you to be the first one to take Mr. Freckles down the other end of the field to do his business. The janitor? Mr. Freckles, not Mr. Fitzgerald. Oh. There's Mr. Freckles. Oh. Uh, okay, I'll take him. Hello, how are you? Hi, Mr. Freckles. And here, Hi. take these two bags and clean up after him. Why do you hand me two bags? One's for number one, one's for number two. And you gotta help him go. Mm. He's really old. Uh, you gotta stay in your positions, all right? You think of it uh, like it's a hospital emergency room. Everybody's got a job to do. The receptionist asks what the problem is. The triage nurse verifies the problem, then the doctors fix the problem. Of course, some doctors are comedians and have to make comments because they think they're funny. Well, sir, how'd you get a cut on your... Brendan! You're late again. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come over here, Brendan. The rest of you take laps. Remember the hospital thing. Brendan, I know something's going on. Nothing is going on, Coach McGurk. Hey, I said something's going on. Now, let me tell you a story, all right? About me. I once went astray myself. I am not astray. You shut up and listen, Brendan. Okay. And learn. Okay. All right, when I was in college, I went through some weird times. I didn't know you went to college. A couple days I did. All right? And I ran with a gang. My gang was called the Feel Goods. It wasn't the toughest gang in the world. It was more like running with the cast of a Broadway musical. Very annoying. A lot of freaky interpretive dance stuff. Beads, makeup. In other words, drugs, Brendan. Coach McGurk, I am not doing drugs. You remember the feel goods, Brendan? Am I? Huh? No. Is that it? What? Denial is the first sign that you got a problem, Brendan. No, it's not. Denial is the first sign that I don't have a problem. That's why I'm denying it. It doesn't work that way, Brendan. You can't fool me with your logic. If you're denying doing it, that means you're doing it. You mean like, uh, he who smells it dealt it? I don't know from poetry, Brendan. If you're doing drugs, you're doing drugs, and that's bad. Uh, but I'm not doing anything. Well, you're doing this. <sighs> Mr. Freckles again? Yeah, hey. He who's late cleans Mr. Freckles' crap. All right, bring it in! Do you want me to pee in that? Right here, right now? No, of course not. Wait till I finish my coffee first. This is stupid. Whoa, Mr. Freckles! Mr. Freckles, get back here! Mr. Freckles, come here! Come here, Freckles! Come back, girl! Mr. Come here, girl! Mr. Freckles is a girl. All right, everybody, bring it in! Come on, that's enough playing with the dog. Brendan, get Mr. Freckles back on the leash. Mm. That's enough fun for today, kids. We gotta practice. Bad dog, bad Mr. Freckles. Or Mrs. Freckles, I suppose. You're not supposed to run away like that. Mm. Brendan. Mm, yeah. Druggy. Tie up Mr. Freckles and get out on the field. Mm. Oh no, Mr. Freckles went all over the place. Oh, look at that. It smells. Yuck. Pooping. Coach McGurk, I think Mr. Freckles is sick or something. Brendan, get your bag. Mr. Freckles calls. <sighs> okay. All right. Before you go home, everybody listen up. Soccer's a hard game, but life is a harder game. And sometimes people do things and take the shortcut to try and make life easier. Brendan Small is a drug addict. <laughs> this is your intervention, Brendan. Are you out of your mind? All right, kids, take over. I don't exactly know how these things go, so you guys handle it. Let's get him back on track. Everybody intervene. Intervene, go ahead. Brendan should stop doing drugs, right? Everybody? <laughs> Look, m What are you staring at me for? All right, you know what? Intervention over. Brendan, get off the drugs. <laughs> Look, of all the ridiculous harebrains, I, I haven't been sleeping well, okay? I don't get this. No, but You know what? what? I don't get what this. What don't you get? What? I try and do an intervention. No one believes me. Brendan, drugs are not the issue here. What? All right, leadership is the issue. Think it was easy for me to do an intervention? No. I read a pamphlet last night, Brendan. Yeah. It didn't go so well, did it? No. So who has egg on their face, Brendan or Coach McGurk? 
Coach McGurk. Yeah, you. I mean, you, you do look the like... The point is, Brendan, and I want to get the kids motivated. That's... All right, so I said you had a little drug problem. I don't believe this. You know what? Forget it. I mean, just forget it. It's too late now. Go clean up Mr. Freckles' crap.